everybody. I'm Kimberly Turner from cookingwithkimberly.com and tonight I'm going to show you how to make Napa Valley Champagne Pear Cocktails. Now I'm actually using sparkling wine tonight. You can use champagne or sparkling wine in this. Champagne just means it comes from Champagne in France. Um, otherwise it's usually the same you know system that they use to make that same kind of wine. They just can't call it champagne. So it's sparkling wine I'm using today and a gorgeous vinegar if you can believe that from Wine Country Kitchens. Check them out online at winecountrykitchens.com and this is their Napa Valley Vinegar Company Champagne Pear Vinegar. Absolutely delicious. It's got uh, actual pear puree in there. That's why it's a little bit cloudy. And boy, is it tasty. It's great for beverages and desserts, you know, cooking, baking, whatever. Um, what I'm gonna do first is I have two gorgeous fluted champagne glasses and I'm just going to wet the rim of both of them and coat them in sugar. Not that you need to, but it's a little bit fancier, okay? It's a nice little touch. And you know, this is what my mom used to do back in the day. So I kind of try and keep the same sort of traditions alive on the holidays, as everyone does. I'm gonna do it like mom. So she used to do like this, and then she'd put them in the freezer, and she'd get them nice and cold. And then that's what we would drink our champagne in on New Year's. So this, I'm just gonna set these guys to the side and let that sugar kind of set up. Okay, next I'm gonna cut two nice big wedges of a gorgeous pear. I'm using Danjou pears tonight, and that's kind of fitting for champagne, right? Champagne cocktails. So you're just gonna cut a nice wedge that will actually fit in your glass. And I need to cut the cores out of that. Pear is a really nice pairing with champagne as it's kind of a milder fruit. It gives you something nice and crunchy to um, chomp on too after you've finished drinking your cocktail. Hi, Mom. Hi. You gonna have a champagne cocktail with me? Oh, I think so. They're quick and easy and perfect for New Year's mm. or any kind of special occasion. It just kind of dresses things up. We're actually using sparkling wine, not mm. champagne tonight, but it's the same thing. So shake up your vinegar, and I'm gonna use about a teaspoon in each glass. All pear vinegars that are called pear vinegar are not created alike. They don't have that puree in them. They're not as sweet. This is nice concentrated pear um, flavor and it's a champagne vinegar that they use to make this with. Absolutely phenomenal stuff. So let's open up our bottle of bubbly. Mm -hmm. It's also a good way to doctor up more of an inexpensive brand of sparkling wine too. Tonight we're using Spumante Bambino. I, we like our stuff sweet. Some people like very, very dry champagne, but we've always enjoyed sweet, sweet stuff. So there you go. Use what you want, what you have available, what you like. Ready? Woo! Which glass would you like? The dots or the stripes? It really doesn't matter here. So just pour your champagne. The bubbly will help circulate that vinegar through too, from the bottom. That's what's so awesome about champagne is the bubbly. And your pear, very delicate combination. It's gonna help it fizz up even more. And voila, your champagne pear cocktail awaits. Just something a little bit fancy. Well, cheers, mom. Cheers. Happy New Year. Happy, Happy New Year. Happy Christmas. Happy now celebration. <laughs> mm. See the sparkling wine we use tends to be a little sweet anyway. Mm. With that hint of the champagne pear vinegar, it kicks it up. My taste buds are just running wild. It is so tasty, but still two mild flavors making something really explosively awesome. Mm. Mm. So good. I like the little rim, just like mm -hmm. my mom does. Mm -hmm. mm. A little bit of pear that's been bathing in sparkling wine. Mm. Mm. That's good. Mm. What an elegant drink for the holidays. Dad would have liked that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> So that's how you do it, folks. That's how you make a Napa Valley champagne pear cocktail. Gorgeous for the holidays or anytime. 
you feel like having fun. Girls night out or, you know, wedding, baby shower, whatever. Right? Yeah? We could have our stuffed uh, peas with this. That's right. We made some gorgeous crab stuffed snow peas tonight. Make sure you check out that recipe. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to sit and enjoy while our roasted Merlot barbecue duck finishes in the oven for our holiday feast. Anyhow, I hope you check out winecountrykitchens.com online for this and their whole line of fruit vinegars that, that are in this line. They are amazing. Their balsamics are fantastic too. What a fun place to shop. I hope right. that you pick some stuff up there. Great hostess gifts, birthday presents, stocking stuffers, well, you name it. Delicious, delicious thing. Everything they make is fun. Everything and fun. Makes everything fun. Like right. really kicks up your recipes in your kitchen that you never would have thought you could you know kick up <laughs> anyhow i hope you guys have a wonderful holiday season from our house to yours all right follow me on twitter at cooking with kim e with a capital e like the fan page at facebook.com slash cooking with kimberly my shows are on ifood.tv slash cooking with kimberly youtube.com slash cooking with kimberly you can find my channel on roku cooking with kimberly and i'm also syndicated on apple tv come to my website at cookingwithkimberly.com and subscribe interact with us and let us know what's going down in your culinary world all right be a champion in your kitchen and eat deliciously bye bye bye